Hi everyone, Elaine here. With um, I finally finished my Melly. I was testing it for for Anita Y dot O dot H dot Crochet, and um, I didn't finish it on time for before she published it. But I finally did finish it, and this is Melly Melly the Lemur. Um, this was named after our Melly from um, our Zoom sister. She passed away about a year or so ago. Uh, sweet Melissa makes some more. And this this was named after Mel, from Mel, Melly. Um, I used um, hair on one pound, medium gray for her body, and just some black and white, forced weight acrylic. The eyes, I wish I wish I w made the eyes bigger. These are JoJo eyes from Joe's Web Designed Eyes, and I wish I made um, used a bigger hook or made them bigger because lemurs are supposed to have big, huge eyes, so her eyes aren't that big. But I did it. I finally did it. Um, Anita gave us those people who um, tested her her pattern gave us permission to give away give away a pattern of uh, Melly's this pattern. So if you would like to have a chance to win a pattern for Melly, so you can make her yourself, um, just make a comment on this video. It's the first time I ever gave away anything away. <laughs> make a comment on this video. Just say the word Melly. So I'll know. Just mention Melly. M-E-L-I. And um, I'll pick a, a winner next next Thursday. Thursday will be the um, will be, uh, I, I'll post an, a video next Thursday because Thursday is also luck of the draw. It started again. Um, Mama Swift is hosting luck of the draw. This was Nan's um, idea, 2020, somewhere around there. Nan's from Nan's Next Knots did a luck of the draw where you pick eight colors, a number of one through eight, plus a main color. And every week she picked a number and that's the color that you uh you use for that week you do like three rows of main color three rows of the color that she picked and then three rows of main and then you wait till next thursday and she picks another number so on and so on um usually it was 20 weeks this week is going to be 10 weeks this time because Tr trisha is doing the boggy style so um 10 weeks should be enough to make a boggy style size blanket uh, the colors that I'm using, this is uh, Care on One Pound and Faded Brick, and that's going to be my main color. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to pull this out and do it over again. This is going to be Trisha's, also Trisha's. I'm doing Trisha's um, blanket, uh, textured cabin blanket, her pattern. She, if you want the written pattern, email her. Get a hold of her. She'll send it to you. It's free. And also, Juan, the yarn addict, did a tutorial on the blanket. And it's it's very easy. It's two-row repeat. So it's a very short tutorial. So, you know, you know it's not a whole hour-long tutorial. Um, he explained it very well. And it's a two-row repeat. But when I measured it, when I did the first chain, or loop, whatever, the first chain row, it came out to... A little less, well, I had 40 inches. I took off another loop because I wanted it a little less than 40 inches to give it a little bit room to grow. So I did, uh, after I did the first row here, and then I measured it again. It's come up to 42 inches. Mine grew. Lynette from um, Charm Grammys, hers grew a lot. Hers grew to, I don't know, she was, I can't remember what her starting chain was, how long it was, but it grew to 46 inches. So I'm going to take it out, and um, it's you know it, it's it's got to be between 35 to 40 inches. So if I just went to 36 or 37, that probably would have been plenty, and it would give it time to grow. So in case you want to do this blanket, maybe 36 inches to start with, and then it might if it grows, it'll grow to 40 inches, and then it'll be okay. If it grows to 40, it'll still be within the parameters. So this is the main color. Um, I also picked for my colors teal, orange, red. It looks orange from here, but it's really a uh, cherry red, very bright red. Um, this is a um, 
Oh, that's my main color. Okay, you want to sell that? A yellow, a light yellow, and a, a purple um, grape fizz. Irrigated yarn. You see that different purple, green, and a light blue. Those are going to be my color. Oh, and a royal blue. That's the that's the color she picked for me this week. Uh, go see Mama Swift's uh, video and you find out what color, what number she chose. Now I'm going to um, I'm going to do two rows of my main color and four rows of the color picked color. So mine's going to be two, four, two, four. Because there's a two row repeat. And I just want those two rows to be the same color instead of doing three. I don't know why. It probably it won't matter. Shouldn't matter. I guess it's a little, maybe I got a little bit of, of Josie D. <laughs> I don't know. Hanging around Joe's from Joe's Web too much. I don't know. But. I gotta redo this, so so that's my luck of the draw so far. Um, uh, you could do anything you want. You don't have to do a boggy blanket. You can do anything. I one week I did um one time I did a bl blanket. This was a ten. This was a ten row project. So I I, I did two two bags. Um, so you can you can do anything. Jojo did a snake one time. There snakes have been done. Sweaters. Big blankets, small blankets, baby blankets, whatever you want to do. But in case you want to do one for Boggy, this is a um, 10-week one. If you want to make any more, if you need to make it bigger so you can pick your own numbers, <laughs> just put the numbers in and pick them yourself or something. So that is that. Next week we will do, um, I will do another video. I'll pick a winner and I'll show you my update on my luck of the draw. So luck of the, Thursday will be luck of the draw all day. For me, I'll have a weekly. I'll have a weekly uh, a video again instead of doing tiles. Although I'll law Laura's doing tiles again, washcloths. I don't know why, but I'm going to join in with her. I think I've done enough tiles, squares. But these are going to be washcloths. They're going to be different, make different sizes. Um, different seasons a year of washcloths is called and it's a it's a book and you can get an you can get a um an e i think it's like 3.99 or something for an ebook somewhere uh check annie's just amazon check around i got this book quite a few years ago they were having some kind of a sale for a dollar or something on a lot of annie's books and I got it for like a dollar or 99 cents or a dollar or something like that. And I got, I got um, a book on crochet doilies and afghans and um, washcloths, a few others. So and I got it. So I, <laughs> I, just, I hope I still have it. And actually, I, I printed up some of the pages and I found those pages. And I actually did a washcloth, too. I did the Christmas tree washcloth. They're, they're kind of small. At least the Christmas tree one was. So they'd probably be really neat for kids, actually. They're, they're cute. They're really cute. It'd be a cute kid. Wash them up. They'll have fun using those. Get them to wash. Um, so I dug it. I went on my computer, and I looked, and I found it. So I, I trans put it on a stick and transferred it to my laptop. So I got it on my laptop so I can I can do those silly washcloths every week. So watch out for that. That'll be on Mad Mima's. Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming channel. That's going to be starting sometime in mid-September 14th or something. It's going to be on a Wednesday. So, I think. So, that is it for now. I will see you next Thursday. And have a good week. And thank you all for watching. Bye.